What is going on out there, world? It's your boy Tommy on the spot for Watch Along Wrestling. Hopefully everyone is doing well and staying safe. It is that time of year again, time for the biggest party of the summer. And today I am joined by a very special guest who's going to be joining me to break down all things SummerSlam 2023, which is just later this week in Detroit, Michigan. On the line with me today, I have my main man, Shaquille Shakur. Shaquille, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, man. I finally get to talk about wrestling. I'm like excited. Yeah. 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 Thanks so much for giving us some time today and for joining us. We're thrilled to have you here. I actually met Shaquille for the first time just a few months ago over at WrestleMania 39 yeah. in uh, beautiful Los Angeles. Uh, Shaquille, how was your trip to WrestleMania 39? It was uh, amazing. One, the stadium so far was beautiful, but uh, the show itself, I forgot how big and how spectacular a WWE show is. So I really enjoyed it. Amazing. Yeah. What was your thoughts on, uh, obviously, the, the, main, the main event there? Um, I, Cody Rhodes, were you bummed? Were you excited? Man, listen, I've been a Cody Rhodes fan since Legacy days. So to see him transition to AEW and then come back and be the golden goose. And uh, I was crying, but I was also happy because of Tribal Chief all day. I couldn't pick. I couldn't pick. Okay. Yeah, it, yeah, it was one of these things where when uh, I think the whole weekend, uh, you know, it felt like they were building up to Cody finally get, get, yeah. getting to complete his story uh, so much so that it really felt like that weekend. And I'm sure it probably was similar. I didn't go to Clash of the Castle, but I'm sure it was similar for Drew or for Mon- Red, yeah. Zane. But it really felt like this was going to be the time. And uh, it just was not to be. Roman Reigns oh. continued to hold the title. And at the same time, it's one of these things because he's held it for so long. You almost can't help but go, all right, it's pretty cool. You know? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm okay with it because I wanted him to hit 1,000. But now that he has hit 1,000, it's like, all right, dude, come on. Time, time to yeah. wrap it up yeah. the next, next phase. Yeah, no, I'm with you. I, I, I completely agree. And uh, we're going to get into all the matches here at of SummerSlam and kind of give our thoughts mm-hmm. on each one of them. Uh, but before we do, do you have any uh, favorite SummerSlam memories uh, oh. that, that you remember growing up? I was actually struggling, and then I forgot I've actually been to a SummerSlam in person. Oh, which have you? was the... So I used to work at the Barclays Center. Really? So where they used to do the TakeOver Brooklyn's, and then the next day would be SummerSlam. I saw both of those. So the year I... I Brock versus Undertaker, where he, like, sits oh. up, and he, like, laughs. Like, that was the... The crowd was going crazy. We all, of course, we all knew he was going to lose because he, but we wanted Undertaker to get that. Well, he did win actually, but it was like by technicality, right? I can't remember. It was a great main event though. Low blow, I think. Or something yeah, like yeah, that. yeah, something like that. And it was like that was a great, that was a great match. Also, not SummerSlam, but it was a weekend. Uh, Sasha, uh, Bailey, and Oscar. That was, I think, the same weekend. So like, no, it was ba- for that one, it was Bailey and Sasha. What? I saw both, so I didn't know which yeah. one to pick. Amazing. I, you know, it's so funny now, uh, and, I'll be, and and for those who, who, who may or may not know, I, I, uh, I'm friends with Shaquille's brother, Katama, who's been on yeah. the channel before. Uh, we, we did that very, uh, at SummerSlam 2021, uh, we met up and uh, met up for the first time on the vlog. So uh, <laughs> so that, uh, just kind of stumbling into each other, but uh, it, was, uh, it was pretty funny, but... I remember now him saying that his brother worked for the Barclays Center many years ago. Yeah. Uh, so that is cool. So was that was that working there and having the wrestling matches on? Were you able to kind of like peek and see what's going on? Oh, I got in trouble all the time. <laughs> like oh, really? if, I, if I wasn't stationed inside the dome, I was probably stationed outside, and I would just sneak in, and they would have to be like, Shaquille, go back to your station. I'd be like, mm, maybe, like, no, because I was I actually got in trouble because I went the wrong direction opened the door and I saw Nikki Bella, Alicia Fox, and um, I think Maurice. I can't remember who it was, the last person. And I was like, these, oh my God, do I get fired or do I ask for an autograph? Uh, let me, let me just leave. But that's easy. Yeah. yeah, because that year they, they had four, they had four SummerSlams, four SummerSlam weekends in a row at the Barclays yeah. and then WrestleMania weekend. So like we had so yeah. much Barclays Center there. And they'd always do Raws and random shows, too. So uh, that, real, that's real very spoiled, cool. I got. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was not at 15 or 17. Tried to get tickets. Couldn't. I was at 16 and 18, though. And then I was at the other shows around that weekend. Too. Yeah. So like yeah. Takeover, which I thought was amazing at the time. That, those takeovers were like, well, what 
Well, what a time to be a fan when you'd have TakeOver on the Saturday, the pay-per-view on the and Sunday, Sunday. And Raw on the Monday. Yeah, you know, it's TakeOver that really got me back into wrestling. Like, yeah. it expanded everything outside of WWE, but, like, I miss TakeOvers, like, so much. Like, they're not the yeah, same. not yet. the same what they have now. I know they're trying to kind of build it back up, but uh, it's just a yeah. fraction of what it was back in the day. Yeah, they're using, like, homegrown talent instead of indie talent. It was just a very big difference. Like, Yeah, like the old takeovers, the big thing would be like, who would show up at the end? And it would be like, yeah, you know, but we'd come out, uh, you have like Matt Riddle sitting in the crowd and it'd be like, yeah. oh my God, find these guys, you know? Now, I was like, I don't, I'm no defense, but I don't know who Dragon Lee is. So like him showing up doesn't really do much for me. Yeah. And I think yeah. that's a, that's a, that's a, it's a good criticism, both of some of what of NXT and also of AEW. Like, I think AEW expects yeah, yeah. one to know all the New Japan guys, and it's just not realistic. I know that's like my yeah. friend having a hard time with that. These New Japan guys show up, and he's like, how, how am I supposed to do this? Uh, I, I know three of them, actually. Like, I, I was really big on the Okada match yeah. and the Tanahashi match. Yeah. But, like, I didn't even know who the champion was. I didn't know there was a new champion. I thought it was a... Uh, Somebody else. So I was like, who is this guy? I had to research him. So I get the point. Where have no, you have no idea who these guys are sometimes. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, but, but yeah. yeah. It, it, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a great time, though, to be a fan. I will ask you, um, yeah. we have a bunch of shows coming up this year uh, during the summer. Just had Money in the Bank not long ago. Yeah. Before that, we had Forbidden Door. SummerSlam is at the end of this week. And then at the uh, end of this summer, we have the big all-in and all-out yeah. show. AEW in London, in, all in in London, and then all out the next week in Chicago. Uh, if you had to pick one show this whole summer that you're most excited for, what would you say it is? Uh, usually, I am very excited for All In just because of the the legacy of it, like mm. the very first one, and I've been watching all. But actually, I'm really excited for SummerSlam. Um, yeah, that Bloodline yeah. storyline could be coming to a conclusion, and. Uh, like you said, he fooled us before with the cat class at the castle and then WrestleMania. So like now I feel like it's another time where Jay may win, but then you never know. But I'm very excited for it sometimes. Yeah, no, me too. I I'm ready for it. Uh, you know, I was lucky enough that uh, I am attending the show this year. Yeah, yeah. It uh, kind of came came my way, and I'm I'm very excited to go out there with a couple of people. So I am I'm pumped, and uh, it should, should be a very good show. Uh, before we get into the matches, uh, when we are recording this about a week or so out of SummerSlam, it is yeah. uh, Thursday, July the 27th, so there's still a chance that a match may get added. I know seven matches are official. Do you expect any additional matches to be added to the show? Uh, as long as it's not an Austin Theory match, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's already a stacked card, so. Yeah. No, I completely agree, and I think uh, I, I don't necessarily expect there go, there's going to be another match, but what I can say is, uh, if if anything, I do think it's going to end up being Austin Theory, probably at Rey Mysterio if Rey wins the uh, <laughs> the deal. But uh, I don't think there will be. I think that this is kind of kind of be it. It's sad that uh, Kevin and Sammy don't look like they're going to be on the show uh, due to Sam uh, Kevin's injured. Kevin Owens is injured. Um, the only other thing I could see happening is maybe uh, if if uh, Raquel. Uh, returns on uh, Monday night to avenge uh, Liv Morgan. Yeah. And if, and if she does, then I could see a situation where uh, it's uh, Raquel in there with uh, with Rhea Ripley. And I'd like that. I, I think Rhea deserves a spot on the show. Yeah, I actually just saw her match on NXT and it was amazing again. So, like, I would love to see her in person. I've never seen Rhea in person. Yeah. Um, oh, you're going to the show, so you have to do me a favor. Okay? You yes. have to do me a, um, it's You're on a mission. I'm they have to... they have to find a slot for LA Knight. Okay. Well, he's got to be there. Yeah, he, yeah, for he sure. He has to be there. When you go, I just want you to feel the vibe and it's like, is this guy over or not? And when you say he is over, call my brother and tell him he's an idiot. Okay? He I doesn't. He doesn't like... see. He doesn't see it. I don't understand what is. You know, and, uh, I, 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 in the beginning, I was a little kind of. Wasn't too sure on him, but he has certainly won me over. 100, percent yeah. I, I I really think that that we I know I know these types of vibes that'll be on these types of uh, weekends and yeah, he's gonna be the guy everyone's gonna be really into. You're gonna be <sighs> hearing people all weekend doing the let me talk to him. Yeah, yeah. And so uh, I think that 
they got to If they even play his music at the show, I think people are just going to lose their it's mind. It's going to go crazy. It's like he's... I think we've all been watching it from somewhere. Like, I watched it from NXT and, and NWA. A lot of people watch it from Impact. So it's like his momentum is, like, getting to a point where it's unstoppable. It really well, is. Actually, that, WWE, they can stop anything. We've seen it before, so... I think you're going to get to a point where if he's not on that show, and let's say they do uh, Austin Theory against Rey Mysterio, Austin Theory against Santos Escobar, I yeah. think that would be the whole crowd chanting for LA Knight throughout the whole match. I think they're going to be ready for it, and you're going to hear a lot of people, because people were very very yeah. disappointed when he didn't win that match to get I, to that point. I was actually crying when he didn't win Money in the Bank, because I thought... Yeah. Yeah, that London crowd was so behind him, too, so it's like, really... That's my guy, okay? I'm just, yeah. just saying. You gotta do that pulse check. And you gotta text him and say, "Hey, my brother told me. your brother's right. You're wrong. Just do that I, for me." I will definitely do it. I'll record it. I'll throw it on the official Watch Long Wrestling uh, SummerSlam vlog, and it'll uh, it'll be there. If, if he shows up, it'll, oh, uh, it'll be there. He better. Um, but let so let's get into this now. The seven matches that are on this show uh, just made official today. Uh, before we started recording here. Uh, it will officially be uh, a, a match. I know my wife is uh, very unhappy. She'll be missing. I might be the only one, but it will be Shayna Baszler taking on Ronda Rousey, a match uh, that is many years in the making. Yes. Uh, are you excited for this match? And, uh, and what, what, what do you think? How do you think it's going to go? I'm only excited if they give Shayna her flowers. I want Shayna to destroy Ronda. Do I think it's going to happen? No, but I'm really rooting for Shayna. That NXT version of Shayna we got before, where the badass, the the just the, the killer in the ring, the yeah. biting the biting of the next Shayna. I'm looking for. Uh, hopefully that comes out out of this match. So I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I I'm with you. I hope that uh, it, I hope Shayna is able to to get the win. I'm, I'm ready for the match. I'm excited for it. We've been huge fans of Ronda and Shayna since they came since before they came to WWE. Yeah. Uh, from the MMA days, and uh, we have actually we actually have something from a uh, Royal Rumble Access uh, 2019, where all three of the four four horsewomen, the original four horsewomen, yeah. signed something. We're just waiting for Ronda. Once we get that, we'll have it complete. So, oh. we'll be able to find some uh, some way to meet Ronda Rousey. You got to uh, track her on her ranch. <laughs> yeah, yeah she doesn't do like any. She's only did one Access that, and we weren't able to get tickets here in New York. I think she did one. And we weren't able to get tickets for a VIP. It sold out like in an instant. That sucks. Uh, yeah. But but yeah, it's uh, it's one that I I'm excited for, and I agree with you 100. I actually would love it if this ends with uh, ref stoppage. Shayna knocks uh, Ronda out. Ronda sails to the sunset, and now you get the killer Shayna Baszler back yeah. on the on the roster. You could build her up and have her be that challenger uh, yeah. you know, for someone down the road. She has been generous before, so. So for to do it for someone who we know is like her best friend, it's like I do see her giving her flowers at some point. Uh, Absolutely, and I, and I do think that's kind of why she's uh, sticking around just to do this type thing. Yeah, you know, it was clear that they probably had a little more planned for their women's tag title run. Uh, that was obviously cut short a bit. Yeah. Um, and I think it has to do with the fact that I think Ronda is wrapping up her time here and wanted to make sure she got a big match with Shayna Baszler. And as Ronda said, this is the first time Shayna's had a one-on-one match on a pay-per-view in a long time. Yeah, that was a good dig she did. Um, but yeah, yeah, she 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 did what she was supposed to, Ronda. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. She yeah I know a lot of people uh, are tough on Ronda. I don't necessarily blame them. I, I kind of... Uh, I understand she hasn't had the greatest return run here. Um, but with that being said, I think uh, yeah. it's cool to see kind of how things go. And uh, I, I, I think it would be fun to uh, – I'm excited for this match. It'll be, it'll be good to see them kind of get in there yeah. and have to, uh, uh, do something cool. I mean, I'm also, I'm also like a big Up, Up, Down fan. Up, Up, Down, Down. So Shane's oh. on there all the time. So like oh, really? that's, that's like my girl. Like I'm really – I'm rooting for her this time. Really like yeah. – No, that's really cool. She, yeah. So she does a lot of stuff with Woods? Yeah, so she like they're part of like their own clique. They have called the the V R E. It's mm. her, uh, Dakota, um, Mia Yim, and the last horsewoman. There's four MMA horsewomen. Jessamine Duke. She's also yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's uh, Marina Shakur is now in AEW. So she looks amazing in AEW. Yeah, I she don't know how WWE. Yeah. Does. I don't she looks like a straight assassin. Like I like, I saw her in a match with Jade, and I was like, oh, who, this girl's amazing. 
Yeah, I don't know why. Yeah. I don't know why they had such a hard time kind of finding something for her in WWE. I think they really missed the ball because you're right. She's been great in AEW. For yeah. Sure. I mean, yeah. Man, we'll see. We'll do our AEW another time. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I guess sticking with the with the women, it's going to be a triple threat match uh, for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Is it will be Oscar defending the championship against oh, yeah. Charlotte Flair and Bianca Belair? Uh, how do you see this one? How do you see this one falling out? Uh, I honestly have no idea. It's going to be a tough one, I think, to call. Uh, yeah. Sure. I definitely think Charlotte is not going to win. I don't think they're going to give her her, what, 15th, 16th title reign? Uh, 15th, yeah. Yeah, wow. I, don't, I don't think they're going to give that to her now. I think that's more of like a, for a different time. Um, I think Asa's going to keep it. So actually, we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go head to head on this one. I actually huh? a new SmackDown Women's Champion. I do think it's gonna be uh, Charlotte Flair, and I think the story here is gonna be Bianca's frustrations continuing to. See, you know, it's tough because I know Bianca yeah. and as Ford have the reality show coming to uh, Hulu. Oh yeah, they do. So I don't but, know if they'll make Bianca heel. I also don't think it'll work. I think people will be much more behind Bianca than they would necessarily Charlotte Flair. Um, so I do expect Charlotte though, to get the title and continue to build uh, for them to have a match down the line. Probably, I'd say that's probably penciled in for WrestleMania is what I would think. For Bianca and Charlotte? Charlotte, yeah. I don't think Bianca wants to do that anymore because of uh, Rhea has already done it. And like they're, uh, like, they're like top two. So right, it's actually, kinda, Bianca yeah. and Rhea would be pretty cool, too. I think they're going, because honestly, they're like a trio, her, Rhea, and... Uh, Raquel, they're like good friends. I think they're vying for that WrestleMania match because I think Rhea is Rhea, Raquel is going to win Royal Rumble. So like I, it's I see Rhea keeping it for the rest of the time. So it's just this. Uh, I'm really I don't think they're gonna give it to Charlotte. I hope she doesn't win because I'm tired of her winning. <laughs> yeah, no, I I think I, I think a lot of people probably are too. I think. Uh, Asa's going to win, but then I do think you're right. That anger is going to boil up in Bianca. Because I think they're hinting at her turning heel. Yeah. Especially with this. Yeah. It seems like the Street Profits have been talking a little bit with Bobby Lashley. Yeah, I saw that. I was like, mm, yes. I, 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 so I'm wondering if maybe Bianca be tied in there a little bit, too. And, uh, uh, you know, that, yeah. that could be a little stable for sure. I'm all for the one thing I do like about New Japan Pro is, like, they have faction on faction on factions. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm down with that in, in WWE. Like, get you have Judgment Day, you have Bloodline. Let's get a couple of like three more. We have uh, what's the OG, the OC? Sorry, like yeah, get some OC. more factions in here. I'm I'm with it. The yeah. LWO, I guess, uh, as well. Yeah, another one. See, I hate them, but still, 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 great point. I'm waiting for him to turn. I'm hope well, we'll get to that. Yeah. Um, I'm hoping that. Uh. San, what's the Santos? Just Santos, yeah. Turns on Ray. Oh, I hope so too. I'm gonna. Yeah. It. Okay. Cool. Yeah. 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 So over you it. know what it is? I think. Uh, I think all of those guys being the LW, LWO is cool, but I feel like yeah. all of them have kind of taken a major backseat to Ray. Like he feels like the big yeah. deal. Santos is great. He should be kind of the profile guy. But I, like I miss the legato. Like I miss the tie, the suits, the. The just that aura, the music. I miss the whole thing of Legato del Fantasma. So I'm hoping they bring it back by cutting out LWO and leaving Selena and Ray like on the sidelines or something like that. Hopefully. Yeah, I, I think that uh, what, one of the big things that I think happens is you hear the LWO music, you hear that little uh, like yeah uh, Eddie Guerrero thing, and then uh, everyone, yeah. yeah yeah, and then Eddie Guerrero co- and the people get so excited for Ray, and then when Santos comes out, everyone's like. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's hard. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's crazy. So, uh, next up, we do have pro- probably, uh, you know, honestly, I'm very surprised this match is taking place, but I think it could steal the show. It'll be uh, Logan Paul uh, going one on one with Ricochet. Uh, I'm surprised that this match is taking place. I thought honestly, Logan Paul was going to be a guy who came in, had matches with the big stars, and that was it. That was uh, it. And uh, it that- they're using him to kind of propel Ricochet a bit, which I think is, is kind of cool. Uh, before we get into that, let me ask you a quick question. Do you think Logan, how do you like this whole Logan Paul run so far? Well, I think, so 
So I hated when he was a baby face because I feel like he's one of the most hated guys <laughs> on the planet. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. How could you have this guy as a baby face? Completely miscast. Yeah. Um, but I do think that as a heel, he is so unlikable that, yeah. like, at least you have a guy who you know is going to get booed out of the building. I do yeah. think that... So I actually, at the beginning, I think that uh, his athleticism was really impressive. He was having good matches with, like, Roman, hit an okay match with Seth at Mania. Yeah. I do think he's on the verge of getting overexposed as not that good in the ring, honestly. He is really athletic, but he kind of screws up on some things the more matches that he has. Yeah, he's not a... You, if you watch his matches, it's like, what, the first one was the attack team against uh, the Mysterios. That's a lot of yeah. people. And then the more, more matches he has, it's like less and less less people to support him. So the more he's standing on the island alone, the more he's starting to mess up. And it's that Money in the Bank flop was like a big one. That right. was like a... And that yeah. was on him, too. Um, it, like... Because I saw him explain it, and I do understand where the mess up came from. Like, uh, Ricochet landed first, so it kind of lowered the ropes for him. But it's like, dude, you oh, you got – your ego was too big. You thought you were really the shit, and then you yeah. paired up with a guy who actually is the shit. Right. And he's like, we're going through this table. <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't care what you say. Yeah, right. Like, we are not going to screw up. This <laughs> yeah. I'm not on paper do that often. Yeah. We got to have this match. We, we, we got to hit this move. That's uh, why I like the unprofessional, uh, I guess you would say, promo, like the, the angle. Yeah. Because that was the most professional thing you can do in that moment is to fix his mistake and then put him through the table. So I like the unprofessional moment. I do think Logan's going to win. I'm very sad about saying that. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm a big... I don't call him Ricochet. I'm a big Prince Puma fan, and I'm, I'm waiting for this guy to get set to the moon, but I don't think it's ever going to happen. So. Yeah, I mean, it's tough because Logan uh, has lost a couple matches here. So he lost to Roman. Uh, he lost, obviously, to Seth, yeah. Seth, and then he lost Money in the Bank uh, and the Rumble. So, I mean, yeah. he has, obviously, the last four times out, he hasn't won. So I do think so, yeah. he, this is going to be the time here uh, when he does uh. get the ricochet but i hope i'm wrong it'd be great if ricochet would get a big win no i think um honestly he is going to win because i think they were originally trying to save the ricochet uh match for him maybe at like a, a later date i think they were going to try to feed la Knight to him uh because uh, they're both great on the mic but i think you can't have la Knight lose to logan paul I, think, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would i would i would punch a hole through my screen if that actually happened yeah, no, that that would be rough. I think you, you might be right on there, though. It seemed like that that was the direction they were going. Yeah. Were going for money in the bank. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, hey, I think this match is going to be fun. I'm excited that you know, on a on a time where, you know, it, it isn't not everybody gets a spot on pay per view. They have usually seven matches. That's yeah. pretty much it. Uh, so it's cool that Ricochet gets a spot here and gets a little bit of time. Uh, but I'm with you. I think Logan Paul gets the win. Unfortunately. Uh, next up here on the show, a uh, match I'm really looking forward to, I think it's going to be great, is going to be uh, Gunther defending the Intercontinental <laughs> Championship against Drew McIntyre. Uh, what are your thoughts here going into this one? Uh, again, I address him by his real name. Walter is killing it. No, Gunther is... Uh, I don't know. I kind of want Drew to lose, but I'm tired of seeing Drew losing, if that makes sense. 100%. And actually, really, yeah, yeah. Drew, Drew needs a win, I think. He needs, he needs that World Heavyweight title, actually. Um, uh, but I don't think he's on Raw. He's on SmackDown, right? He's well, on he's SmackDown, yeah. So. yeah so. Wait, is he? Yeah, but so how is he challenging he's for the on Raw. He's on yeah. Raw. So then I see him getting that World Championship soon. Well, that depends, because Finn Balor has to win tonight. If Finn Balor doesn't win, then I see him taking it from Seth. But uh, I don't see Walter losing it. I think it's too – he's, like, a couple of days from being, like, the number one for the longest reigning, right? Like, yeah. probably, like, yeah, right. I don't – I don't see him – I see him eclipsing that and then losing. Uh, so I, I see Drew losing. Probably Imperium's going to get involved. Uh, probably uh, Giovanni because he's – I think they have an angle where he's, like, the weakest link and stuff where he has to prove himself so he may prove himself tonight. Uh, but I do see Drew taking another L, unfortunately. This is, yeah. Yeah, I, 
it, it's tough. I, you know, I think going into this show, I think we're going to get one title change. I think we're going to get one of the big streaks ending. I think it's either going to be Gunther finally losing the Intercontinental Championship, or it's going to be Roman finally losing the Undisputed Championship. I don't think it'll be both. So I think if Gunther yeah, loses yeah. it, I think Roman will retain. Um, and I actually think Gunther's... I, it's weird because he's so close, Yeah. but I just... I don't know if Drew's re-signed with WWE. Uh, no, nothing has really come out about that. So if he's re-signed, I can't imagine that he's re-signed to come out and lose another big match. So, like, so yeah, yeah, 100%. It uh, almost was re-signed, and they said, hey, you've now re-signed with us, and in doing so, we're going to give you the big... Uh, the, the big right, at SummerSlam. At SummerSlam. Because I know the clash of the... I know the clash of the... What's it? The clash of the castle hurt. I know yeah, that. I know that. Because sure. you're in yeah, your hometown, everyone will, yeah, I know that hurt. I completely mm-hmm. agree. I think that uh, it really was kind of a tough deal for him. And uh, But then the worst part was, in my opinion, he got on the mic and started singing afterwards. And <laughs> I was like, what are they doing? You just lost your, your big match in your hometown. How do you get on the on the mic and start singing start and dancing? Singing. Yeah, yeah it, it was pretty, I, I hated that part of it. Uh, that being said, I did think, um, you know, I do think there's a good chance here that it ends up where uh, he does win this uh, title. And uh, so I'm going to go with Drew. I do think if he loses the title, I won't be surprised if a month from now we hear that Drew's out of WWE and he was just, you know, kind of playing out the string here. I I hope that doesn't happen. I think Drew needs to be here. I agree. I think, I think he's... he's uh... As far as baby faces go, he's definitely in that like top five guys. You can put him at, on the to close any show, and it'll no, be- that's not even. Why. I think he's like a he, he's a he's a real workhorse, and you, you can't really just have Seth Rollins be the only one. Like, yeah, you need guys that are going to be like, no, we're going to try to put on a five star every night, and right. he, him, Seth, and probably KO are like the three that I know they're going to give it their all in the ring, and that keeps. You know the production high. Like Roman's not gonna put on a five star every. He's gonna, he's gonna slack off if he has to. So like, it, you need those guys. I I don't want to see him in AEW. I I would love to see him in New Japan Pro though. If that ooh, actually never mind. He can leave. He can go there. <laughs> that that would be pretty cool. Um, but I do hope he stays. I do think that he's a big part of the show. Uh, and honestly, I, I wouldn't be shocked to see him lose the. Uh, you know, I wouldn't be shocked to see him. Yeah. Uh, get 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 either get the win here and then Gunther loses the uh, the big streak here and then I think Gunther yeah. is ready to take that next step. Uh, well, and- where See, I, it, it all depends on the Seth and Finn match. Agreed. Agreed. If Finn wins, which then I can see Drew taking it from Finn. I can see that too. But That's if I, if Seth wins, I don't. I see Gunther taking it from Seth. So it it depends on who's winning, you know. Yeah. Well, we could get right into that now. You know, the start of our uh, yeah. top three, I guess they're calling it a triple main event. Uh, it will be Seth freaking Rollins defending the World Championship. Well, it seems like one last time here against Finn Balor. Uh, what is your prediction on this match here? So, uh, I'm split. In reality, I think Seth is going to win. But every piece of my soul is waiting for Finn Balor, the prince, to take his throne. That is my guy. That is my number one. Uh, I've been waiting for him to get like that NXT hype that he's been getting, that New Japan hype. It's like he's never really gotten on the main roster without the the Demon Balor. Like I'm I'm a big fan of Prince, so I'm I'm hoping he takes it from Seth. I'm hoping Damian Priest does not. I just just give it to Seth clean. I mean yeah. Finn, just give it to Finn clean, and like let it be gone. So there is a uh, a famous WWE show. The show isn't great, but there's a yeah. famous moment at the end of uh, uh, Armageddon 2003. Uh, Triple H uh, retains the world title. Uh, and on this same show, Randy Orton won the Intercontinental title and Ric Flair and Batista won the tag team yeah. title. For and at the yeah. end of the night, every they all held up all the belts as the, as the show ended. And I don't think this will close the show, but I definitely think that Dominic Mysterio won the North American Championship. So you yeah, can set yeah. up for the big scene where you have Rhea holding up the Women's Championship, Dom holding up the North American title, uh, Damian Priest holding up the Money in the Bank, 
and then Finn holding up the world title. Uh, maybe I'm speaking it into uh, existence. I'm hoping so, though. I think oh. you're going to have a lot. I mean, don't get me wrong. Seth comes out, and that crowd's going to be ready to sing. But I think there's going to be a lot of people who are going to be there ready and cheering hard for Finn Balor, and I hope he, he gets it done. Are you over the singing now yet or uh, not there yet? So I hated the singing with a passion. And yeah. then um, my, my, my three-year-old loves it so much. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he I mean, okay. loves it so much. And I think that's who it's meant for, right? Like at the yeah. end of the day, I think it's meant for the kids. Uh, and so she loves it. She gets so excited that it's kind of turned me on it. Now I'm kind of like, all right, it's not so bad. Uh, but I could definitely, if you, if you say you're not a fan, I completely can understand yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, I really was getting fist- frustrated when they were like, I mean, it's WWE, you have to get used to that. But they were like singing over Finn Balor, like singing him out of the, singing him out of the arena. Like, I think it was like yeah. two weeks ago on Raw. And I was like, shut up, all right? Because <laughs> he's been waiting seven years, so have I. <laughs> exactly. It's, and you were at that SummerSlam too. Yeah, right? yeah. Like, yeah. Was- Mm, when he won that is up, my guy. I was also at that show, and I remember going to Raw the next day and being like, this is awesome. We got yep. a new top baby face. He's going to be the guy. And then you find out moments later, I think it's one of the biggest what-ifs in WWE history is, what if Finn Balor doesn't get injured? He yep. could literally be one of the top baby faces of these last five, six, seven years. 100%. Uh, 100%. So, I mean, yeah, I'm hoping we, 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 we get the shot here. And then I think it's a lot of fun. To kind of see when will Damian Priest turn on Finn? Because if Finn has the title, you know at some point Priest is going to turn on him. So I like the idea of Rhea trying to keep them together. But it, this is so stupid. Like literally, y'all should go after the Bloodline next. You have right, but you know that's not going to happen. Sterling has to. Well, keep, it would get rid of Damian. I don't care. It, it would be absolutely amazing if Finn wins the title. And then at the end of the night, Roman beats Jay and out comes Damian Priest to cash in. And oh, we, do yeah, get, yeah. we do get that scene with all of them holding the belts up. Except if that, that happened, I think if that happens, it'd be the other way around. I don't think, I think Jay would win. Oh, Jay, there you go. That was Because be they, they did offer both the tribal chief, the, the, I forgot what it's called, not the necklace, but the, the I forgot the name. I'm so sorry to my Samoan fans. But uh, the WWE title and the Tribal Chief necklace. So I can see Jay winning, having the title and the necklace, and then uh, Judgment Day coming out, beating him up. No one's there to help him. Jamie's gone. Solo's going to probably go. I can see Solo, like, looking to help and then turning away. Yeah. And then now you've got your now you've got Jay chasing Damian Priest. Yeah. While Ro- while Roman takes the rest of the year off. <laughs> you know, Roman, yeah. Oh, Roman. Roman's gone. Roman. I don't he's expect about, to see him. Yeah. He's about that umbrella life now, so you know he's gonna be <laughs> yeah. uh, re- ready to sit on the beach for the rest of the year. Oh, he he pay homage to the tribal chief. I, he he did his job. Go yeah, rest. He's, He's done. Absolutely, I agree. Uh, that oh man, I, I am now I'm now really hoping that's how the show ends. I think it'd be amazing. Yeah. That would, hey. That would be amazing if we just predicted that whole thing. Yeah, that, that, that would be cool. And we've talked it through, too, so I like that. Um, before we get to the main event, though, it is going to be the third time here. Cody Rhodes, the oh. American there, going up against Brock Lesnar. Third time's a charm here. Have you enjoyed this rivalry thus far? I enjoyed Backlash. Backlash was good, yeah. Yeah. It was I, tough I, because it was right after Bad Bunny, and Bad yeah. Bunny was amazing, but it was oh, good, too. God. I've never wanted to be someone else in my life. <laughs> like that song is now in my Apple Music playlist. Like, top oh, yeah. that's my. But it was a hard follow after the Damian Priest Bad Bunny, but I still think they did a great job. Yeah. Uh, I'm so glad to see Cody get the W on Brock Lesnar because that's like a a gatekeeper, you know. If yeah. You see Brock Lesnar, you're one of our top guys. Um, but to see them like trade off, kind of like it kills it because it. Yeah be Brock Lesnar it's a roll up but if Brock Lesnar beats you he beats you down so it's like I don't know how they're gonna go today tomorrow next week uh uh I want Cody to win Cody is gonna win but I don't think it's gonna be in like a spectacular fashion I think it's gonna yeah Yeah, I think Cody absolutely needs the win um I think right now he's kind of in a holding pattern because I'm not really I don't think they know too much what to do I think they're like all right great we got a couple matches out of Brock we, they want him to be a top guy. He is obviously a top guy. 
but I think for him, finishing the story is getting his way back to that other title. Uh, yeah. Has it and being the person to beat them. Um, so I do think he gets the win over Brock. Um, who's next, you know? Right. That's the thing. It's like, there really isn't anywhere for him to go after this. Yeah, it's Roman and Brock. Those are your last two feuds. Like, you already did a banger with Seth, so that'll kind of be, like, repeating, even if you do for the world title. So it's like, where are you going to go next, dude? Like, so, yeah. I have uh, I have a couple things here. Number one, I do think Seth gets, I mean, I do think Cody gets the win. And I do think that if you're going to have a big return on this show, I think it's either going to be yeah. uh, Bray Wyatt or it's going to be Randy Orton. And I think whomever returns is going to return to, to attack Ooh. Cody after he gets the win. I would love to see that Randy Orton. That, oh, that I think, is the way to go, right? I think Randy is – I don't think Randy should come back. I think that that injury with his back – this man's been doing RKOs for like 10 years now. Like, I understand. But I do think he believes he kind of owes it to Cody a little bit. Like, you have to pay homage and yeah. close that circle. So I think he is trying to come back for Cody. But I think that would be more, more like a uh, WrestleMania. I agree. Yeah. I, uh, and and, I think and also, Bray Wyatt. Uh, I agree. Hey, I'm not saying it by any means, <laughs> but I'd like I, – I have this, like, vision of fear that, like, <laughs> Roman wins, he gets on the mic, and he does the whole, you know, SummerSlam, acknowledge me, and then you get, and then out comes oh, Ray Wyatt. God, the big, you'd hear the biggest groan ever. If I, <laughs> I'm a big fan of The Fiend, so the minute they said he's not doing that anymore, I was like, what are you doing now? Like, Alice in Wonderland? Like, I don't, this whole new Bray is, like, just so bad. It's, right. I mean, now, if he returned as The Fiend, I think that'd be great. Yeah, because, like, that was your thing. Like, that was your... That, that was the greatest moment of wrestling for a while. Like, the... Yeah. I remember being... Because there's a bar called Legends Bar in Manhattan. Sometimes I go there for pay per PLEs, not pay-per-views anymore. Um, <clears throat> it's a whole bar. Everybody gets together, and everybody at the bar was asking me, who's that guy, The Fiend? Like, you know, people really don't really, if you don't know wrestling, they don't really care. But they right. was like, who's that guy? Like, oh, he looks cool. I'm like, yeah, because he is fucking awesome. Like, I don't, ugh, Bray is just a letdown I, for me. I was, uh, I was there the day he debuted because it happened at Nassau Coliseum uh, yeah. on that Raw. And when he debuted, uh, it was just immediate. Like, he showed up, laid out Finn Balor, and then he was gone. And yeah, the yeah. whole crowd for, like, the entire commercial break was just holy shit. Holy yeah. shit. Just that, like his his just that his debut. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I mean that would be cool, but I I'm thinking that might be the way to go for Cody. I don't see any other way. Where else can he really go? He's on Raw, so like there is no one unless it's like a heel Drew McIntyre maybe. Right. Right. They, could... they were the two. I know. I remember. I remember their matches uh, when they were outside of WWE. So I know they might want to relive that maybe i don't know were, were those matches good they were all right uh i think drew was finding him drew was definitely the cody wasn't that great of a wrestler yeah he's gotten he, a lot better it's the the indies like you have to you and being in new japan like you have to perform like right. definitely there's no way you're going to work with the greatest wrestler of all time which is well the greatest in-ring wrestler of all time kenny omega and not get better so like right. yeah he's definitely gotten better uh even though mm, he is stealing that cody cutter i don't like it every time he does it that is yeah, that, yeah will all sprays move right there right, right. <laughs> uh but uh, i guess let's get into it here the yeah. final match we kind of touched on it a little bit but final prediction here is this finally the time for a new undisputed uh world heavyweight champion <sighs> yeah i think it is I think uh, I think Roman's tired. Yeah. I don't think his body's breaking down, but I think mentally it's like it's a lot, you know. Um, especially with this new World Heavyweight Championship, I think you don't want to make it seem like it's the lesser championship. Um, and whatever title Roman's going to hold, the other one's going to seem less. So I think if he steps out of the picture, it'll kind of be like an even playing field. Yeah. Uh, plus. It started with Jay. 
let's end it with Jay. It just it seems perfect. But yeah, they've been they have written some perfect storylines to where this is the perfect end for Roman, and then he wins. So it's like, especially at Clash of the Castle, that was the first time I thought he was going to lose. Uh, yeah. So- I, I've I've been worse. Uh, first time I thought he was going to lose. I'm not even kidding. Was SummerSlam 2021 to, to Jonathan Chenna? No, <laughs> <laughs> the big match, John himself. And uh, I'll never forget when he lost. He was like completely stunned. Then I thought he was going to lose uh, to Seth at the Royal Rumble in 2022. No, I then, see that, yeah. then I thought he was going to lose on TV to Riddle. Then I thought he was going to lose at Clash of the Castle. I know my wife yeah. was making the same face, like, yeah. no, I'm not watching this random TV match. Of course <laughs> not. <laughs> that's then I thought he was going to lose. That, that, yeah, that buildup was great, though. I, I see what you're saying, yeah. Because it was, uh, if, if, if Riddle had lost, he'd never be able to challenge Roman again. Yeah. So I thought, maybe they give him the win. It was it was pretty good. Um, then I thought Sammy. Then I thought Cody. So I, I, I've been wrong that many times. So I can't. Times. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn. I'm going to say Roman finds a way to hold on to the title as the tribal chief one more time. Uh, I'm not going to go against Roman this time, and this time he'll lose. Watch, because I, finally I went for him. Um, but I think, you know, I'm excited for it. The build has just been so great. I yeah. hope that it happens. Um, but I'm thinking that that Roman ends up uh, keeping the belt. And then, honestly, I could see them pivoting to eventually Solo being that guy to have a match with Roman down the road, too. Uh, I don't think he's, as Cody said, you're just not ready, man. You're not, I don't think he's ready for all of that. I agree. Uh, I yeah, I don't know. I could see maybe Heyman shifting and leaving Roman mm-hmm. to go behind Solo and act, claiming that Solo's a new one. This is the guy. He's going to surpass you. Same thing he did with Brock with, uh, I think it was like 2005, maybe. He left Brock to go with Big Show. And made oh. Big Show seem like he was, I can see him doing the same thing, going with Solo, building up Solo. Challenging Roman. Roman's not going to lose so well, though. Yeah. There's no way yet, I know. But, like, it's three people that have to beat Roman. It's Jay, it's Drew, or it's Cody. I agree. Yeah, oh, I think- sorry. Sorry. I, I take back Drew. Not Drew. Uh, Bray. Could be, I think I, I only could, three. I could also see Seth being that guy, too. I do not see Seth because that's a different storyline. That's the S.H.I.E.L.D. storyline. Right. Like, who was the best of one out of us with the shield? Because they did leave it open ended with that match, which was a great way, I think, to yeah. make Seth look like he's still like the guy even during this uh, rain, rain, <laughs> this little Roman Reigns. Um, but I think Bray, because it's literally that. We say Jay is where it started, but it's actually Bray. Right. It was. He came back. Yeah, he came back on like suspicious terms. It was a triple threat. He didn't show up until the, the like last five minutes. Yeah. Tackled uh, the Fiend and, and pinned him. And we haven't seen the Fiend since. Yeah, So right. it could be like full circle. Like, yeah, and it was also at SummerSlam when he ended yeah. up uh, doing the You'll Never See It Coming. And he yeah, had yeah. a match and, and had his big return. So uh, that could that, be cool. It, that really could be like the full circle. So Jay, Cody, or uh, Bray. Those are the three for me I think have to be there. One yeah. of them is Cody here. He lost. Bray, Jay is fighting tonight. He may win, but like you said, the storytelling has been so amazing. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, we'll be 50. He'll still be champion. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you can definitely see it. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, Shaquille, I want to thank you so much for joining us yeah, here. Yeah, of course. Watch Along Wrestling. I hope that we can make this a, uh, a monthly tradition. Have you come on and talk about all the big shows? I'd love that. I, I hope you had a good time and that we're able to uh, continue to do that. 